Hey crafty family, it's me and today we have some happy mail. Happy mail. Um, I've got a couple envelopes here and I've got a package or two between my legs. Just the way I like to start off the day. Packages and packages between my legs. <laughs> that sounded so bizarre. This is from Cheryl. Cheryl's a good friend of mine and she sent me some really beautiful ATCs that she made so pretty look at that just gorgeous the way she did that and oh no did i leave it on my desk oh no nope here it is it got stuck and she made a little art tile isn't that cute i love it thank you cheryl so exciting um and then also I got a wonderful happy mail from, I think it's Cindy. I, I'm looking looking at the outside and trying to find something that shows me a name. Yeah, it is. It's Cynthia or Cindy. Um, but she made, oh look how cute this is. Oh, well duh, her name's right on the back. Yeah, it's Cindy. Um... Oh, cool. Okay, well, she made this. This is really cool. Really neat butterfly. Oh, look how cute this paper clip is a doggy. I love it. Oh, these are fun. Oh, these would be fun to like put into a journal and like journal on them. Oh, that's a really cool idea. Oh, those are cool. I like those. Ooh, I like these. Peace signs. Ooh, butterflies. These are cool stickers. Very cool. And some flowers. Ooh, I had these stickers. And I loved them. And I used them pretty much all up. And I loved these, these little flowers. I pretty much used them all up, though. So thank you so much, because I love these. And, and tell me where you got these from, because I don't remember where I had gotten mine from. And I would like to go get some more because I, I don't know why I use these so much. I, don't, I liked them a lot for some reason. I, I, I don't know why. I just used them a lot. So let me know. Did you get these from the Dollar Tree or something? Or I can't remember where I had gotten them from. Um, same with these. I think I had, had some of these too a long time ago. But let me know, Cindy, because I forget where I got them. And I want to get more of them. Even though I have some here, I know I'll end up using them all up. Um, and these are really cute. These are like little teapots and teacups. Very cute. Another little doggy clip. Oh, wow. This is so cool. So this is like a vintage, what used to hold, hold needles in it. Isn't this cool? I love vintage packaging. Like this right here is so cool just the way it is. To like take it and stick it into a journal and like staple it to a page in a journal. Any one of these type of little packagings with like a little vintage button on it. Like I'll take some of my vintage buttons and sew them back onto the card. Just so that they look cute. You know like this is cute just the way it is. Just take it and tighten up the thread on the thing. Add a couple extra buttons. That's a lot of fun. That's a great way to... A, use up the vintage buttons if you don't want to actually use them as buttons. You know, put them in journals. That's a good way to use them. Look how cute this napkin is with the horses on it. Oh, that's cool. Love that. Oh, I have these napkins. And I love these napkins. I haven't seen these napkins in years. I have some in my drawer still have some I believe but years ago I bought these it just brings back a memory because even though I have them I haven't looked at them in a while I had these in New Jersey and I used to make candle holders with these because of these pretty butterflies and I used to make and sell the candle holders and people bought them like hotcakes and these butterflies were always so pretty to cut out and use very cool oh look at these little Easter eggs adorable Oh, I really like this one with the peace sign. Oh, that's groovy. Ooh, that's really groovy. 
Oh, cool. I've never seen any of those. Ooh, some 4th of July ones. I may still make a patriotic ATC or two before I send them out. And this is a good idea to have some of this to put on the background. I'm, I, I started thinking about it after, and I was like, after I had finished doing those ones that I did in the, I guess it was the live stream, right? I was like, you know, I should probably sit down, even though 4th of July is technically over, and make some more, because they are cute, you know, to make. Look at this ATC she made. Oh my goodness, how cute. And this is like a little sticker. Isn't that cute? It says, you rock. And then she put one of those little things on the back where it has the artist trading card. You can find these online. You can Google them. And uh, Google artist trading card info or something. And it'll come up and you can download and print them out. But how cute is that? So adorable. And then this, she said is a photo of her mom at six years old. Isn't that amazing? It's a copy of a photo of her mom at six years old. How stinking cool is that? It's from 1939. That's a great picture of her holding a doll. That is such a cool picture to have. Thank you so much for that. Oh, look, a poodle sticker. <gasps> Oh, I love when you guys send me poodle stuff. That's so cute. I didn't know so many poodle things. Oh, look at this. <gasps> Did you emboss this? Oh, and, and this too is really cute. This little best day ever. But oh my goodness. This is, must be a stamp that you have. You're going to have to tell me who makes this stamp. Because to date, I have two poodle stamps. But this is my favorite stamp of a poodle. This one right here is my favorite. I love that squiggly line. I like the face. I like the size of it. You will have to tell me the maker of this stamp because I'm going to search high and low for it because I look at poodle stamps all the time and although I like the ones I have, this is the cutest one that like matches what I want in a stamp for a poodle. So I definitely want to know where you got that from and thank you for doing this for me. I really appreciate it. have to hold on one second. I don't want to stop the recording, but I need to blow my nose. If I stop the recording, that means I have to edit. <laughs> and I know that sounds really lazy and awful, but I've got so many things I'm editing right now and I want to get this happy mail up. So I don't want to have to stop editing the other things I'm editing just to try to edit this one. It's a big ordeal. So I'm going to blow my nose on camera just so I don't have to stop the camera. I think you guys will understand. I'm pretty busy most of the time. For somebody that doesn't have a job, I'm pretty damn busy. That sounds bizarre, but with everything going on with my house, um, with you know my just taking care of my YouTube channel and dealing with mail, and now I've got the Patreon, which takes a lot of work to keep everything straight and to get everything going. Yeah, I feel like I work a full-time job, <laughs> which is bizarre. Okay, so then I also got a box from Kelly Rickman, who sent me an awesome box that I wasn't expecting. I didn't even open it yet because I just got it off my porch. I didn't open this one or the other one that's still between my legs. Um, because I just pulled them off my porch. Alrighty, there's some paper. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> it says, I just replaced the can of air freshener in the bathroom with an air horn. Now we wait. <laughs> Oh, that's freaking hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's a postcard. Oh, very cool. Oh, that's so funny. Yes, you're the one that sent me the gauze. I was wondering who that was. Um, 
And yes, I have been sharing it like crazy. And of course, I still have a lot of it left, but I share it like crazy. So uh, I definitely use it and share it both because, of course, I love gauze and I've sent it to people in happy mails. And that's what I've been doing with it mostly um, is I send it out in happy mails. Or if somebody says, oh, I wish I had some gauze, I'm like, oh, OK, here you go. And I'll send them some gauze. So thank you so much for that, because I have been religiously using all my gauze that you sent me. <laughs> so thank you. And I really like your your postcards. Very, very mixed media, which is awesome. It's very yummy. I love the colors. I love all this texture in the book page and this texture paste that looks like you kind of colored it or either that or it, it soaked up some of the color from behind. You did a really nice job on this because I love when I could see all the layers and stuff. That's my favorite part about mixed media is all the layers. Be careful lifting and opening this. There is a lot of pieces. Die cuts. Ooh. Ooh. Look at these. Oh, these are cool birdhouses oh look at these oh wait i seen these stamps <gasps> these are those stamps that are like that are like atcs right i think i'm or like coloring stamps or something yeah because they had these at tuesday morning didn't they and i i saw them when i stopped in there like a month ago one time when i was out and i stopped in tuesday morning just because i had to kill time and I seen them and I'm like, dang it, I wish I had money to get these. I'm so glad you stamped some out for me. That's awesome. Yeah, and I seen this one and it reminded me of like the size of an ATC. I wonder, is it the size of an ATC? Yeah, it seems to be. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. And this one's really cool. I remember seeing this one too. And thinking it looked like something out of the 60s, like a very... Um, hippie kind of looking but i love it yeah these are really cool these stamps and they have them at tuesday morning right now pretty cheap too i think you get like a set of like three or four of them for like five bucks or something and i really really was tempted but i didn't really have the money but this is really cool i really love any kind of die cuts where it's geometric shapes like they have those die cuts and somebody sent me a form of them where it's like a bunch of circles or stuff like that. Like any geometric uh, shapes. I never seem to find any of those stencils anywhere, but that's so cool. Thank you for sending these to me because I will definitely love to use those. And then this is really cute. Oh, this is like Alice in Wonderland. We're all mad here, it says. I don't know if you can see that really well. Isn't that cute? I didn't know that this was a die. I've seen the stamp of this. So there is a stamp that, I don't know if it goes with this die, but there is a stamp that is like exactly this. And so if you don't have it already, Kelly, you can get one. Um, more of these cute little bird cages. And then there is, ah, poodles. Oh, that's so cute. See, I think I have this one. I think I have that one, but I don't have the scooter lady. I think I have this one that says love wolf, I think, but I don't have this, this cute scooter lady. Is so cute. I've seen this before somewhere. I don't remember where, but I've seen this lady before. So cute. <gasps> Ooh, I like this a lot. Yeah, I like any kind of doilies. Are they all colored? Am I just missing it? No, okay. I was going to say, this one's got some color on it, which looks really cool. Look at how pretty that is. All that yummy color on there. I'm using my webcam to film, um, and I, I don't like the way it films videos as well as my regular point-and-shoot camera does. But that thing is being such a pain with the battery situation. I either need to find new batteries for it that have a that have a longer lifespan, like a longer charge, because it just is a pain in the butt, man. Oh, look how cute these little Eiffel Towers are. Very cute. So when I use the webcam, I don't know if the video quality. I mean, you have to tell me. Do you think the video quality is still good on this camera here? Does it look clear? Does it look bright enough? Like, 
what's the deal? What do you think? Um, because I might use this from now on. I, I know the sound quality isn't as good as my other camera, but I can look into getting a microphone maybe, or I have a microphone downstairs that might work. I don't know, maybe. These are really cool. I like those a lot. This is really cute. I think I have this stamp. I don't know, my brain doesn't work, but I think I do. How cute is that? I like her colors. You must have did that on the jelly plate. I love the fairies. I do have some fairy dyes. I'm not sure I have these ones. But I love me some fairies. We all know that. And those are real cute. <gasps> More of these stamps. Ooh, look at the house. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Now I'm going to have to color these and, and make them into ATCs. They're so cute. Oh, look at the deer. Oh, that one's awesome. Put my hand behind it. Isn't that cool? And then here's the birdcage and all the little things are pushed out of it and the other ones they weren't. So this will give you a more better idea of what it actually looks like. So cute more deer and oh this is like a little wreath type of thing that's cute what's this oh this is the mermaid very pretty i love that you jelly jelly printed that i'm gonna guess or cut it out of jelly printed paper Ooh, look at that side Ooh, nice good colors good colors this one, what kind of paper is this? Is this deli paper? It might be deli paper. Really pretty. And some more. And some more. I really like these. Very cute. And then some out of cardstock. Very cute. Another ATC stamp. Ooh, this is pretty. I've never seen this die before. That's really pretty. It's like a butterfly tree. Very cute. And here's some more. Out of different papers. Very pretty. And there's the scooter girl. <laughs> so cute. Ooh, and some more. Eiffel Towers, this one's printed, or and this one's, I think, deli paper. It's hard to tell if it's deli paper because it's so small. And it's not like a sheet of deli paper that makes it more obvious. Very cute. Thank you so much. Oh, and there's little birdies in here and some more of those little wreaths. Very cute. Thank you so much, Kelly. This is amazing. Amazing, amazing. Let's see. This is a paper coaster. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it is cool. Is that like those round ones I had gotten? Ooh, girly girls wear pearls. Oh, that's cute. Oh, uh, you know what this would make? This would make a great cover for me to use in my bind it all machine for a little journal. I bet you that'll punch through it and I can use that as a front cover. <gasps> That's an idea. Just saying. What are these? Ooh, these are like Asian postcards. Well, this one is anyway. Is it upside down? Yeah. Duh. Look how pretty that is. I can color it myself. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at the camel. That one's cool. Is this sushi? Sushi! <laughs> oh, cool. These are really cool. Oh, one of the little die cuts fell out. Oh, birdie. See, all of them seem Asian to me except for the camel. The camel, it's Egyptian, right? Because it's got a pyramid. But, I mean, that's cool. I, I love Egyptian. Um, Egyptian stuff too, but it's weird. I'm like, wait a minute, is that Asian? But these are 
These are really cool, though. Thank you so much. Love them. Oh, look at this. Pebbles. Hello. Includes 24 designs. These are cute. They're like little cards that say hello and thanks. They're like little journal cards. Oh, yeah, they are. They're like journal cards. <gasps> Very cool. A friend is a treasure. A friend is someone we turn to when our spirits need a lift. A friend is someone we treasure for our friendship. We treasure for our friendship is a gift. A friend is someone who fills our lives with beauty, joy, and grace, and makes the world that we live in a better and happier place. This is so cute. Thank you very much. Very, very cute. That is very cute. Very cute. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this little treat bag. It's so cute. Oh, it's got a skull on it. And it's a little treat bag. Oh, you know I gotta find a way to make a journal out of that. Like a journal cover or just, I don't know, something. You know I'm gonna make something out of it. That is so cute. What's this? No way! Oh, look! This is a face tattoo, and you can make yourself into a sugar skull! Oh, man. In October, I'm going to do this on my face for one of my live streams, and I'll have it on for the whole live stream. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be so freaking cool. Oh, thank you, Kelly. That is so awesome. I found this in a thrift shop, and the first thing I thought of was, wow, Stacy can use this in an Asian, in, oh, in an Asian journal. Oh, it's a book. <gasps> oh, wow, because that's right, they read everything backwards. <gasps> that was stinking cool. Oh, my God, this is so awesome. You found this in an American thrift store. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it's so cute. This reminds me of a story I had when I was a kid. Oh, no. The story I was had was like had a kitten. And it had like the pro progression of a kitten. And like the first page was... Uh, something about my kitten likes to sleep and then the next page was my kitten likes to play and it was like a like a little kindergartner book but it reminded me of that all the way up until it changed to like chickens oh so cute oh look at the little girl picture this is so stinking cute thank you thank you for thinking of me that is so neat. I've never had a book like this. I never, I mean, I knew they read from back to front kind of different than us, but I've never actually held one in my hand and actually seen. That is so freaking cool. Thank you. Ooh. Awesome. Some rubber bands. I like to use these to, well, I use these for a variety of things in my crafting because I'll use them to put around a journal or I will use them to put around one of my cans that I'm trying to hold shut with stuff in it that I've got, you know, because I love to use those tin cans and these are great for wrapping around them. So thank you. Oh, look at this fancy ribbon. I'm not going to unravel it all, but it's very colorful and very pretty. See this stuff? I like to take the wire out, like cut it and then use this as pieces that I glue down onto things and stuff. Or you can use it as ribbon, of course. Ooh, some more. See, like I take it and I cut, like I'll show you, I'll cut a piece. This is what I like to do with this stuff. You can, A, you can make flowers out of it because you cut off the wired, the wired parts on the edges, and then so then you could take this and use it and cut it up into pieces and use it on like an ATC as a little piece or whatever. Like here's an ATC, let's say, and you can like glue it onto there as your base piece and then, or glue pieces of it on and do like partial. 
or you can cut petals out and make flower make little flowers out of it so that's what i like to do with those i think i've mentioned that in videos in the past and i think i've done stuff with that in the past oh look how cool some fibery stuff Ooh, this is like a cool rope that's really nice it's like a twisted rope that's really cool and look at this colorful stuff oh that's cool now that's some colorful fun right there awesome thank you for those very cool <gasps> Ooh, look at this oh this is so cool thank you it's a sugar skull mug i've never seen a sugar skull mug before that is so cool what's inside whoa <gasps> Ooh, it's a gorgeous girl little um what do you call it one of those little marbly things those glass things which this one's not showing up focus come on i know you can there you go kind of anyway thank you for that Ooh, and here's some blue um tool that's it very cool cool it's tool what else is in here oh there's some little skull marbly dudes in here some little like skull ones those are awesome Ooh, some lovely lace that's like these little flowers or they could be butterflies depending on how you look at them thank you that's really pretty Ooh, some pink and black zebra um bottle caps and another gorgeous girl marble thank you kelly i love this mug this is so cool <laughs> I think I'm going to stick it on my desk over there and put like pens and pencils in it because it's just so cool looking. I think that would be a good thing to put in it. Let's see. And I will chop this up so I can put it in my trash bag without it being all puffy. And, ooh, some ribbon. Some like, uh, what do they call this again? I don't know. It's that stuff. It's not tulle and it's not, I don't know. It's ribbon and it's pretty and I like it. Ooh, and some green ribbon. I like the thin ribbons like this. That's good for binding books, journals together. This stuff is great for binding journals together. Ooh, some prank, pink, prank, some prank. Here's some prank ribbon. New color, I just made it up. Ooh, and some blue. Very pretty. <gasps> Yay, makeup sponges. <gasps> Yay, I need these. Because I keep using the same ones over and over and over and over. Ooh, and these are smaller ones. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you she made some of the little um fringe hearts oh how cute thank you that one's really cute yeah if you haven't seen i did a video on these a while back like you've been watching me a long time girl other people have done these too i believe the hearts i know they've done the circles and i believe they've done the hearts too i mean i wasn't the only one um ooh, some more stamps of some poodles how cute is that Poodles and Eiffel Towers. Everybody thinks poodles are French, but actually they're German. Ooh, here's another one. That one's pretty. Very cute. Ooh, some more stamped images of those fancy stamps. And some more poodles. And another fancy stamp. And another girl on a scooter. And another girl on a scooter. And another fancy stamp. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, this is so cool. This is old, but ooh, it's still got the library card in it. Oh my goodness, it's so awesome. It still has the library card in it. Very cool. So cool. Thank you. This is so awesome. Yay. Oh, and another heart. Another fringy heart. Ooh, look. And some lace and fibers. Oh, cool. Vintage lace and stuff. Ooh, some gray stretchy. And some white lace. That's pretty. And some, ooh, this is cool. This is like real fringy, fringy. Very cool. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm missing a couple things. Ooh, some tickets. Love tickets. They're always awesome to have. And I don't know what this is. We're going to open it and find out. <gasps> oh my god it is a miniature little picture keychain that just sounded really valley girl of me this is the cutest thing ever it's like a real picture you probably can't see what i'm doing and it's got like the little sizes on it can you see how cute it is it's so stinking cute i love it look at that it's so miniature and tiny and it probably actually opens my fingers don't work so I don't know if I can actually do it I know it actually opens I just have a hard time doing things with my fingers this is so cute I love it thank you so much this is so adorable that's going in my cup and I think that is everything. Thank you so much, Kelly. This was amazing. So amazing. I really appreciate it. So now we are going to magically put everything in here as if I'm doing it off camera so that it doesn't take too long. And I apologize if it does. But thank you so much, Kelly. This was like so sweet of you. So, so very sweet. Okay, so now I have another package that came all the way from the UK. And it is a little heavy. And this one is from Miss Janet, who I knew this was coming, but I just had no idea it was this heavy. This is really heavy, lady. And now I just need to figure out the best way to open it. We're just going to go for it, I think. I'm just going to go for it. So please stand by while I figure out how to open this. I know she said there was treats for Tigger in here, I think. Um, and what I'm going to do is... Oh, cool. What I'm going to do is I will film giving Tigger some treats later because right now he's asleep and since I'm not using my other camera I can't do it with this camera so I will film it later and put it on the pink poodle pack creative playground group which if you're not a member of um, yet just look in the description of this video and you will see a link to the pink poodle pack creative playground group and you can join it's free and there's where I'll put a video of Tigger opening his goodies, if they're in here, which she did say that I think that they were going to be in here. So let's see how I can open this without busting anything. I try to be careful when I open things. All right, let's just pull out what I can pull out. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, Sunshine Shades Kit. This is a, ooh, it's a kit. I like kits. Oh, how 
cute. It's some sort of kit to make like these little cards or tags, I think. They look really kind of cool. Oh, look at all that. Oh, how cool. Yeah, it's some sort of kit. We'll have to mess around with that. Um, I'm not sure. But it looks quite interesting. <gasps> oh, 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 look at that fanciness. So it's some sort of kit to make these little doohickeys and decorate them maybe that sounds fun and interesting mm, very game for that oh, that looks fun okay that looks really fun we're gonna have to do that <gasps> yay Ooh, look at this oh i love this stamp set it's so cute Says build a bouquet. Ooh, and there's a die in there. Ooh, there's several dies in there. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, I like this stamp set. Where did I see this stamp set at? Somebody was using this stamp set. I really like it. Oh, so cute. And there's like a little goldfish. You can like do a little goldfish scene in like the jar in there or something. Yeah, oh, see right here. Can you see the goldfish? Isn't that cute? Why do I remember seeing somebody use this stamp? Or maybe it was a stamp like it, where you get like the flowers and the stems and you put it together in the vase. I don't know, but this is so cool. And it's got, what's nice is it's got the magazine. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Huh. This has always had really cool stuff to look at in here. Interesting. Very cool. <gasps> Yay, look, it's the Russian dolls. I love the Russian dolls. Oh, these are so cool. I've never seen stamps of the Russian dolls before. Russian stacking dolls. I have a very small collection of Russian stacking dolls. These are so cool. And they have the dies, too. Oh, so fun. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Okay, what's in here? A secret little envelope with some secret little things in here. Ooh. Oh, this is her artist trading cards that she made for me. Oh, I seen this because she took pictures of them, and I love the little envelopes that she has to put them in. But oh my goodness, look at these! This is gonna go in my Asian journal. Is that not gorgeous? You guys are blowing me away with the amount of talent that you you know that is being used for these ATCs. And look at this mermaid one. Oh, how cute! Little naked mermaid lady. And it's got some of this little raised texture on here. Oh, it's so cool. Under the sea. Oh, she gave me the one with the little jellyfish stamped on it oh so cute i love this one i love it i love it i love it that is so cute your atcs are awesome lady very talented miss janet and this is so cute so cute well, thank you very cute. Okay, back to the bog. Ooh, pretty brads. Look at those brads. Those are really pretty. I need to go grab my drink really quick. Bear with me. My throat's getting parched. Oh, goodness, I can't take talking for so long without something to drink. Which is why when I film my videos, there's like, you'll you notice there's some stops. Because I have to either A, go to the bathroom, or B, get something to drink, or else I'll sit here and die. Hmm. 
I've just always been naturally dry mouth, naturally dry mouth, dry throat, constantly always had a drink in my hand as a child, as an adult. I've always had issues with, especially if I'm talking, Ugh, it's the most awful feeling that my mouth will get all dry and I just feel disgusting. Anyway, cute little Brad. Thank you so much, Janet. Ooh, yay. I know she said secret some of this. And I was telling Secret I'm going to come steal it. But I don't have to because I got my own really pretty ribbon. This is the same like the ribbon that, that Kelly gave me just a little while ago. What is it called again? I always forget. It's not seam binding. It's that other stuff. I know what it is, but my brain isn't working. I know exactly what it is. But my brain's not letting me say the words. I don't know. But there's pink, two different pinks, or this is like a peach, and then a hot pink, and a blue. Very pretty. Thank you so much, Janet. I love those. I'll remember it before the end of the video. <gasps> Ooh, look at these. Oh, these are pretty. We're going to have to look. We're going to have to look. It's going to be a long video. We're going to have to look. I'm not going to keep it in the plastic anyway. Ooh. Look at those. And you get like four of each, which I love. Probably more than that, right? One, two, three, four, five of each. That's unheard of. All these pretty floral patterns. So cool. Oh, I love it. Very pretty. I love my shabby chic stuff. Oh, this looks interesting. Ooh, this is fun. Ooh, I like this one too. I'm a sucker for, for paper. I love paper. Ooh, this is a cute page. Oh, I like that one. So cute. Little sewing page. Oh, that's so cute. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> that is so stinking cute. And some extra bits of stuff that she used out of it. Very cool, very cool. I love it. What is this? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, some flowers. That's what I need is some flowers. Some blurs. And it comes with a stencil. Really pretty. And like a border. What do you call it? Embossing folder. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Thank you. I love that one. Very pretty. This is so cool. I love... Oh. Oh, there's a cool mermaid. <gasps> I'm going to have to open it up and see. Okay. Because I want to see the magazine anyway. I should have opened the other two. But I'm always afraid of, like, boring other people with me looking through magazines. Because, you know, I know that some people may not like that very much. But if it was up to me, I'd sit here looking through magazines all the time look at these how cute oh my goodness this is awesome mermaid wishes and starfish kisses oh that's gonna be my life i love that saying this is a cool magazine Ooh, and it shows some cards you can make. Very cute. I'm just going to... Gives you a template for something. Oh, and there's a crossword puzzle. Oh, templates for these little boxes. Very cute.
Very cute. I'm going to have to look through this later, obviously, because you guys are probably not thrilled with me sitting there flipping through a magazine. Anyway. Get over here. What is this? Oh, what is this? Oh, this looks so cute. Oh, this is like weird. It's like, woo. It has all little animals on it. Oh, so cute. The little book of furry friends. Oh my god, this is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. It's got birdies. It's got kittens and puppies. I hope you can see this. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, let me just do this because otherwise you guys are gonna kill me. Oh, so cute. Oh no, I got an itch. Oh, oh look at the little hedgehog. Oh my goodness. These are so stinking cute. Oh, look at that one. Oh, these are so cute. I love these. Why don't we have these in America? Little squirrels. Oh, look at the deer. The puppies. They should make a whole book like this of poodles. Huh. This is cute. The guy with his hand on his dog. Sleeping. Puppies, bunnies, birdies, more puppies, and kittens, and mousies. Oh, this is so stinking cute. Man, that's so cute. We don't have anything like that here. And they definitely need one of poodles. This is, oh, another kit. Oh, is this a kit? I love little kits. Oh, it's a mini scrapbook kit, and it's got this little book. Oh, I love kits. I was always, when I was young, not younger, younger, but like, I don't know, 10, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, I was always jealous of people that would get kits, because kits were always like, I don't know, like, something I couldn't afford, because back like when I saw kits, like, I would see like different things put together in a kit and it would always be kind of expensive and I always thought they were like fancy people's things I don't know not even 10 years ago like six to eight years ago Ooh, look at this I'll say it like secret does decoupage she calls it decoupage and I think it's the most funniest thing when she says that um decoupage card kit or decoupage decoupage that's my new favorite word. When she said that, I about busted out laughing. I love it. <laughs> I like saying things weird. When I was little, I used to make a habit of saying like things weird. Like the word antique, I would call it antiquest. And things like that. Like I would just go around saying weird words. This is really cute, but I don't understand. Is it just scrapbook paper? I mean, not that that's not okay, but I'm not understanding the kit. The card kit. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, I'm getting it. I didn't pay attention to the front when I opened it because I was too busy explaining what decoupage was. Okay, so it teach it basically, here's number one, here's number two, number three, number four, and you put together the car, or you put together the thing to go on the front of the car. Ooh, that's really cute. And we are going to do a challenge in the group of a cards, you know, greeting cards. And so I hope to be able to use like this and the magazines that have the examples of how to use the stamps and stuff because I suck at making cards. So I really, I'm going to use some of this stuff to actually try to put together some cards, which is awesome. And, ooh, oh, yay, these are texture tools. Oh, there goes my phone, which is, of course, going to la, 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 la. Shut up. Sorry, I had to sing over the thing so I don't get in trouble for copyright. Okay. 
I had to go la 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 <laughs> because my phone was ringing and it plays a song that's copyright. You know what I mean? Hmm. Phew. Okay. Anyway, back to getting excited over texture tools. Um, these are the Tim Holtz or the Ranger texture tools, which are awesome for using. And especially like making paste paper and whatnot. Like you can use these to like, you can use some of them on your jelly plate. As long as they're not the real sharp ones. Which some of these are sharp, but I don't use these kind on my jelly plate too much. I like to use these making paste paper, using them with texture paste. They're awesome. And what's cool is they come with this little ring. Which I can't ever get open these things. I suck at them. Anyway, and you put them on the ring, which I can't do because I'm bad at getting those open. Um, and they're like got little, I don't know if you can see, the little serrated edges kind of thing. And you run it through texture and it leaves lines. A lot of you know what these are, but some people don't. So that's why I'm explaining it. Thank you so much because those are flipping awesome. And... I don't have those ones. I have some other ones that I had gotten from. I don't even remember what company at this point. Ooh, this is an embossing folder for like these two little tag things. Very cute. Ice cream sundae, 24 sheets, six designs. Includes ice cream topper designs. Cute, I want to see that. Oh, how cute. Oh, they're little ice creams. Oh my goodness, so cute. Little papers. Oh, these are so cute. And you can cut your own little ice creams using the little pages for the different parts. How cute. All right, I totally ripped the plastic, so we won't worry about that. <laughs> Me and plastic don't get along. Fantastic foils, 24 page. Let's try that. This is in a book. So I can throw the plastic away. Or rip it off. <gasps> Ooh. These are foiled pages. They're fancy. Oh, you guys give a lot when you do your pages. In in the U.S., we only do like they'll do like three pages max. But here we got like five of each page. That one's not foiled. That one's foiled. That one's not foiled. Why does it say fantastic foils? <laughs> If only three of them are foiled. Three designs. Very cool though. They are very pretty. But it is a misleading title. They probably should say some of them are foils. <laughs> Not fantastic foils. And then say, well, but only half of them are foiled. <laughs> but it's cute. I really like those. I like the little patterns. Those are my favorite is when they're little patterns. Because they're good for doing little things. You know, when I say little pattern, I mean like patterns that are close together, not real big patterns. Love them. Ooh, what's these? Oh, napkins. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at that. That is a pretty flower and pretty butterflies. Love those. Great colors. The reds and the, the deep teal. <gasps> Oh my god. That's like the prettiest napkin I've ever seen right there. That's my new favorite napkin of all time. That is just gorgeous. It has every color that I love. Pink and purple and teal. Ugh. Beautiful. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Ooh. Really pretty. These are so stinking pretty. 
You guys have nicer napkins than we do. And these probably aren't even your nice napkins. These are probably your, like, cheapy store napkins. Like, you know, we have, like, Dollar Tree. These are probably your, like, dollar store equivalent napkins. And they're nicer than our fancy napkins. I like this. This one's, like, very Asian. It's got cherry blossoms. I really like this one. I'll have to save that, of course, from my Asian journal. Look at this one, too. Big, pretty red flowers. Pretty. Ooh, Christmas. Christmas. Very cute. <gasps> Ooh, I love the ones that have vintage photos in them. Oh, these are so cool. So cool. Oh, now I can't wait till winter time so I can use those. <gasps> Ooh, this is nice, too. This is nice. Fancy, fancy. And then we've got some paper. It's got a little bit bent, but that's okay. That's really pretty. Oh, I need a drink again. Dang it. Hmm. I'll show these while I drink. Because, whoo, I need a drink. Hmm. I'm not one that can go without drink for like some people they don't drink like all day not me i can't i have to have it right next to me at all times a cold drink at all times whether it's sprite or iced tea or something really pretty very pretty 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 Ooh, look at this one It's like a, I think it's like a winter pattern, kind of, but I can get away with it not, even not for winter, kind of. This one I probably could, too. Even though it seems a bit Christmassy looking. Even this one, it looks almost like Christmas trees, but I bet you I can get away with it because of the colors, you know. These are really pretty. These are fancy schmancy. Ah, see, they are Merry Christmas. And then there's the deer. Reindeer. And then there's... Oh, ooh. Ooh, this looks like my type of paper. All pretty and pink, even though I like all kinds of colors, not just pink. Rose Garden. Four sheets of die-cut decoupage. Twelve sheets of beautiful papers. Ooh, this has like die cuts. <gasps> these are so cute. Look at these little parrots. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. Oh, they have peacocks. Oh, look. And look at this little hammock. Oh, and the teacup. Oh, these are all so cute. Oh my goodness. <gasps> these are cute papers. Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. These are really stinking cute. That's it. Very cute. Very, very cute. Very stinking cute. Alright, I'm going to put some of this back in here so that I can make room because there's still another package. Goodness, woman, you spoiled me. Thank you, Janet, very much. I really appreciate it. Alright, we kind of got that in there. Sort of. Kind of. I'll just stick that over there because I don't want to try to jam things in. Let's see. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize there was like a thing to pull and it opens. Yeah, I'm a dummy. Ah, oh, this is why Tigger was sniffing the bag. Here are Tigger's munchies. Look at all these. Oh, they're called pet munchies. I didn't even read that before I said that. 
Oh, he's going to really like these. Absolutely. Chicken and cheese, duck breast fillets. Holy fancy crap. I will do a video of feeding him those. Ooh, and there's more. Bacon and cheese flavor. <laughs> Delicious cream-filled dog treats. Oh, he will love it. He will love it. Oh, he likes the meaty treaties. Oh, wow. Tigger is spoiled. Oh, my goodness. He liked these the last time. He ate the crap out of those. He likes his UK treat. Ooh, look what I got in here. Oh, another one for Tigger. He liked these, too. <gasps> Swimming pools. It's a little bent up, but I don't care. It's going to go down in my belly where it's going to get all kinds of bent up. Yay! I love swimming pools. Oh, sticks! Oh, I missed you, sticks. Milkadoos, I've missed you so, so, so much. I eat you very quickly, but I really missed you a lot. Oh, you got a little melted together from the heat. Those are yummy. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Penguins. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yay. Lots and lots of penguins. Thank you, Janet. Oh my goodness. Yay. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much, Janet. This is awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat my sticks. Mmm, -hmm. these are good. Mm -hmm. And my Pershing penguins. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody who sent me a happy mail. I really appreciate it. And to all the ATCs I got, you guys are amazingly talented. And all the ones I'm seeing you guys create in the group. Some of you have never made ATCs before and are making these remarkably beautiful ATCs. So keep up the good work. It's awesome. Um, actually today is the 6th. So everybody's supposed to have theirs out by the 10th in the mail. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be a little late. Um, I'm hoping to get them out very soon. Um, I'm probably going to get some of them out this week. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for my happy mail. Thanks everybody for continually watching my channel and for being in my group. And also I started a Patreon, which, um, if you don't know what that is, basically it's a, just a way like people would support my channel by donating through super chats or donating through various ways because I am out of work and due to illness and whatnot. And, you know, donations are awesome and I do appreciate it obviously they're not mandatory in any way but um s patreon is like a way to do it where you get something back for your donation so instead of just donating blindly and not getting anything back which of course is fine and people obviously never minded that but it is kind of cool that with the patreon I can give something back like it, there's different tiers that you can give and for certain things that you give you get like live classes for, you know like actual live classes and pieces of art and there'll be special giveaways and access to a secret group and these are just perks to say thank you to those who donate to me so that is a, a really awesome thing I'll put the link below so you can go and check it out because there are going to be live classes um, so that is one way to get access to them. Um, so yeah, it's something to look into. Uh, and you guys that support me through Patreon will have the ability to vote on what kind of live classes you want me to do. So, because they're going to be actual live classes where, you know, it's going to be a private live class for just the people who are my Patreons. And they get to choose from a list of things. Like they'll get to say, well, we, I want to do this. I want to do that. Whatever. 
And so they will decide what we end up doing ultimately for those classes. But anyway, um, so check that link out. Also, don't forget to join the group. So check that link out below. You know, um, all the good linky stuff down in the, in the description. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed. That's an awesome thing you can do to help my channel. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.